this has taken a few hours but finally we've got our man we've had the winners and everything and the man behind all of this the man with the plan Mansour Ali well done Mark thank you very much um, thanks for your support as well no, no, no. Uh, it's been a fantastic night it's our fifth uh, award ceremony as well uh, we've had a larger turnout than ever we've had over 200 films uh, 265 films submitted this year as well so it's kind of pushing the boundaries now and good thing about it is expanding the other challenge is to maintain that uh, actual expansion and make it a, a great every year as well so we hope people continue to support us limelightawards.com is the uh, uh, the main website as well we've got a whole host of programs coming in the pipeline as well so yeah get in touch the awards now five years I mean so many people have come here they've been a few times I've met a few people have been here since the beginning now from the man who's actually god man you were there with the foundations five years later man well, yeah, we, we have a firm belief that, you know, if you do something good, you need to stick by it. Um, and having our, our partners and supporters uh, is the only way forward. You know, it's, it's something as uh, big as this. You need good, good ingredients to manifest that, make sure that it continues year and year. Um, it does take a lot of effort, but we would not be doing this if we didn't have the love and passion for it. What's next for Limelight Film Awards? I know we've got the Limelight Film Nights, and wow, it's a great success so far. We're, we're going to have a third one soon. Fifth Limelight Awards now. I know you yourself have got a couple of projects in the pipeline. What's next for Limelight? Well, the, the immediate thing next for Limelight is that we're going to have a short films uh, a web TV channel where we have well over 800 films uh, with, with some live episodes, how-to tutorials on the actual website as well. Um, I myself with my crew, we work on an international feature film as well, which is separate to Limelight, but it's all within that kind of film fraternity. So uh, web TV channel, the film nights as you mentioned as well, and we're going to do a whole host of other options available through schooling, networking, uh, in, in our facility studio and at other partner locations as well. As you, as a person, I mean, I mean I'm going to repeat the whole five year thing again. As the contribution by Limelight is immense, I mean, I'll say this personally as a filmmaker, but have you seen a change in filmmaking in the five years? Have you seen, I and mean, it's getting stronger, isn't it? Absolutely. What happens is the, you can see the stand quality of films changing. It's becoming easier and cheaper for people to buy and hire uh, professional equipment. So that's that's uh, that's a plus side for filmmakers as well. And it, it, um, the submissions themselves speak, speak for themselves. So year one we started off with only 98 submissions. Five years later, now we have over 265 submissions. So there's a massive growth of uh, filmmakers, emerging filmmakers, and people just getting up with the uh, picking up a camera and making a film. Next year is going to be bigger and better, right? We hope it will be bigger and better and uh, we hope our sponsors and partners will continue supporting us. I really do hope so. Finally the winners. Bunch of young guys. I mean just that in itself is amazing. F film of the night is really about nurturing raw talent. And I think uh, this is all independently judged. And, and, and I think I'm quite glad the lads that actually won it are from uh, local Tower Hamlets now. An area with a high pop young population, high unemployment. And uh, having facilities and opportunities like that is going to make a whole, whole world of a difference for them. Mansour, thank you so much. Congratulations. Excellent.